Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I want you to meet somebody, somebody super special. It's my baby gerbil, Solomon. Oh, Solomon, come on, you gotta... I'm sorry, you're so scared. I was teaching him a trick. This is my baby gerbil, Solomon. Whoa! He's a boy, and it is Solomon, named after a king in the Bible. A smart king. So that makes my dribble a real king. I love my dribble. He's the cutest thing ever. Dribbles are easy to train and they're cuter than a hamster or a mouse combined. They have fur on their tail and they're more related to chipmunks than uh, mice because they have fur on their tail. And it doesn't really look like a chipmunk tail, only if it was more fluffy. Yeah, and you can teach them various tricks. Uh, my sister has two, uh, and there's and if you don't uh, pick them up and adapt with them, they're not going to want you to pick them up at all, and they're going to start biting you and all that. Uh, my sister's gerbils, uh, Odette and Louise, they're both girls, bit my grandma. And she had a dot right here and a dot right here, and they were super bloody. So, what I did with Solomon was, sorry, I picked him up right when I got, not right when I got him, but right when I, when I got home, I picked him up, and I started playing with him. And that's how you should adapt to your gerbil. And my, and my gerbil is a boy, and. I guess they're more adaptful because I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Don't don't listen to me if I don't, if I'm wrong. Uh, but you can teach them tricks easy. So what I'm trying to say is, you need to play with them right when you get home or wherever you're going. Play with them, or else they're gonna start biting you, and they're not gonna be wanting to pick pick you up. They will run across the cage, like, super fast. That's what happens with my sister's gerbils because she never picked them up. And my grandma forced one to pick her. She picked up one, and it was squirming, but she wanted to pick it up, and she forced it to let her pick it up because we want to tame them. And my sister doesn't care if we tame them. But, yeah, and then uh, her gerbil, one of her gerbils, uh, bit her. So, what I was doing is, I don't really know how to train a gerbil that well. I've only had him for one day, but he is super cute, and he's just a baby. We do not know how old he is. I don't know what kind of gerbil he is. We got, them, we got him at Feeder Supply, next to a post office in Kroger, the paddock shop, and if you live in Louisville, Kentucky. And we got him there and his sisters. And I wanted a green one. And I kept my eye on this one. And he was the one. And this is my dribble, my baby dribble, Solomon. So I don't know what kind of tricks you should teach him. But I was teaching him paw because that's the only one I could think of. And then I would give him a sunflower seed. And then if you keep doing that, He's going to be less scared when you do it. And then when you say it, they're probably going to do it. And then you can probably give them a treat. And then they're going to keep adapting. Uh, my gerbil. Oh, okay. These are half of the sunflower seeds he, he has eaten. But my gerbil loves some of the sunflower seeds. Can we try it again? And it is normal for a gerbil to squeak if they're scared. Whoa, look at this. It's a big sunflower seed. Want it? Maybe too big. Maybe you do. You want it? Let's see, it's a big sunflower seed. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a with you. Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit about my gerbil song.